Hi everyone. So today in this session, we will discuss the basic concepts of composite materials, which are utilized by the industries and manufacturers and everyone. Here, without composite materials, we cannot see the world. So let us discuss the composites. It is a basic concepts of composites. <music> Now, let me discuss the salient features first. The composites are widely used in all the industries that we have said already. But why it is utilized and what is the meaning of the composite materials? So those things we will discuss first. And let me discuss the introduction of composite material. See, composite material means it is made by the combining two or more materials often ones that have very different properties so this is the definition that means two materials can be added or three materials can be added in composite materials suppose if it is only one materials that material must have the different properties and the two materials what are the two materials that you are adding those two materials work together to give the composite unique properties so that means different from the other materials and if you observe that is however within the composite you can easily tell the different materials apart as they do not dissolve or blend into each other this is the condition for a composite material suppose if you want to say any material as a composite material so those two materials cannot have any chemical reaction cannot dissolve or blend into each other. Then only we can say that those two materials as a composite material. So here you can see what is exactly the various materials which are involved in composite materials. See, two components we are saying as a composite materials. First one we are representing as a matrix, means the maximum percentage of the material. And the second material we are representing as the reinforcement. Together we are representing as a composite see under matrix so many materials comes under that is it may be thermoplastic or thermosets it may be nylon and uh, here abs so many materials comes under thermoplastic and under thermosets polyester vinylester epoxy phenolics so many materials comes under thermoset all these are under matrix that means we are utilizing these two materials as a maximum percentage to give the strength for the material we are adding the second material that is reinforcement. Reinforcement is added. Uh, reinforcement may be any other materials. Sometimes glass can be added as a reinforcement. Aramid, carbon, natural fibers, so many points, that is so many materials which are, can be utilized as a reinforcement. The main purpose or the main property of the reinforcement is to give the strength to the composite material. So let me discuss uh, the reasons why we are going for the composite materials. So why the world needs the composite materials. See, if already pure materials are available, if already alloys are available, why we are going for the composite material? What is the specialty of the composite material? If we see the first sentence here, the higher specific strength than the metals, non-metals and even alloys. So this is the point, is the sentence which is very, very attractive why we are utilizing or why we are going for composite materials compared to the metals, compared to the non-metals, even for alloys. Rather than the alloys, we are now utilizing composite materials. And this composite materials having low specific gravity in general and improved stiffness of the material. So that means stiffness of the material is high compared to the other materials and composites maintain their weight even at a higher temperature that means no change in weight in general the material loses its weight at higher temperature but composite materials are not going to lose their strength and toughness is improved and fabrication or production is cheaper for composite material compared to the metals compared to the non-metals and even alloys the production process is uh, cheaper for these composite materials and uh, creep and fatigue resistance. Creep means time dependent strain occurring stress. So this particular creep and fatigue strength is better compared to the other 
material fitting means continuous load at uh, successive intervals of time so this load this strength is also high in composite materials that means even if you give the continuous uh, impact on the composite material it can sustain so that is the property of the composite material and the control electrical conductivity is also possible in composite material and corrosion and oxidation resistance these are the main parameters which is very very attractive compared to the metals compared to the non metals or even alloys here this is a corrosion and oxidation resistance that means this composite material can be utilized in all cases and these are the various reasons why we are going for the composite materials and now let me discuss the phases the different phases which are available in composite material let me discuss the phases the various phases which are available here now in general two phases are existed here the matrix phase and dispersion phase first of all matrix phase what do you mean by matrix phase actually it is the continuous material constituent which encloses the composite and give its a bulk form so that means the maximum percentage in two materials the material which is having the maximum percentage can be represented as a matrix phase and this phase may be metal or may be ceramic may be polymer so depends on that we can call that material as metal matrix composites and ceramic composites or polymer composites so this is the main phase in composite material if it is a dispersion phase that means the second material the dispersion phase means and consists of here there is a structural constituent which determines the internal structure of the composite so that means the second material which is represented as a dispersion phase is induced or we can say in other words it is a structure constituent and it will form the internal structure and this particular dispersion phase is connected to the matrix phase by bonding whatever the bonding so it is connected to the matrix with the bonding you can see the types here the various uh, types of the composite materials here this composite material is divided that is that is into particle fiber structure these are the three general composite materials and particle reinforced composite material is again divided into large at dispersion and fiber is divided into continuous discontinuous and structural is divided into laminates and sandwiches so and again discontinuous is again divided into aligned and randomly oriented so this is the classification of uh, composites and if you see the reinforcement the second material in composite material so the second material may be continuous like fibers and discontinuous fibers like this you can see the image here all these are discontinuous fibers and the second material may be added in terms of the particles also you can see here all these are particles this is the matrix and in these matrix uh, the second material is added as a form of uh, particles and the fabrics and braids etc so these are the various uh, reinforcement with which we can attain strength you can see in another image so this is the fiber reinforced to composite material so that means in the matrix fiber is added and here particle composite is a particulate reinforced composite and a lamina so that means uh, the materials are added layer by layer you can say the best example for this lamina is plywood and these are the flakes and sometimes filled composite so these are the various composite material suppose if you see the particulate reinforced composite material it is actually one form of the composite materials vastly used and particles are acting as a reinforced composites if you take the example concrete is a good example and the aggregate coarse rock or gravel is embedded in matrix of cement and if you see the another one the aggregate provides stiffness and strength while cement acts as a blinder here that means any one material has to act as a binder between reinforcement and the matrix here this is about the particle reinforced composite material and if you see the fiber reinforced here this is the fiber 
fiber means it is a thread form the material is in the form of thread or filament so this acts as a reinforcement this is a matrix that means a maximum percentage of the material so if these two are added together so then it can be represented as a fiber reinforced composite material so these are the properties of the fiber high strength high stiffness and low density and matrix is having good shear properties low density and the composite ultimately by mixing these two so that means the composite will get both the fiber properties and the matrix properties you can see here clearly it represents the high strength which is actually the reinforced material strength high stiffness this is also reinforced strength and good shear properties and low density so low density is the matrix property so by adding together we will get a material in which the combined properties are available of matrix and fiber and you can see the various features and shortcuts here this is a carbon fiber reinforced composite material this is a pvo polypropylene benzoxide and here the basalt is added here that is the basalt as a reinforcement and here also the same it is that is used in textile industry and b phosphine there is a basalt here basalt acts as a fiber second material that means the second material may be added in terms of the fiber and uh, srb steel coat and uh, glass fiber may be added and uh, there is a glass textile so these are the various uh, reinforced materials with which we can attain the strength and the representative matrix uh, is uh, formed like this so that means when we add carbon fiber that is uh, in frp that is a fiber reinforced materials so, so we can say that especially the constraint is the matrix may be polymer so like this you have to identify all the other materials which are related to reinforcement now you can see the fiber reinforced composite material clearly all these are fiber this is a matrix in which the fiber is formed here you can see the another image of uh, the fiber reinforced this is a metal matrix that means the first material is metal the second material the reinforcement is also a metal then it can be represented as a metal matrix composite see the various important uh, parameters or we can say that applications of this uh, composite material bullet proof aircraft automobile parts sports kits boards hulls and building constructions here in all these things we are utilizing the same there is a composite materials and uh, the way is the boeing airplane is made with 80% that is made with 80% of the composite material even automobile parts nowadays they are constructing with the help of composite materials so, so this is the technological advance when compared to the other materials which are available so this is all about uh, the basics of composite material in next session we will discuss some more points i think you have understood so thank you thank you one and all